were just talking about the paranormal stuff. Mm-hmm. But uh, you've been doing some, you've been doing some things, man. You've been expanding and uh, experiencing new things. Tell us what's new as far as uh, uh, one of the things I wanted to for you to talk a little bit about was uh, the stones. This like yeah. the gym stones. Yeah, gym stones. Well, I mean, look, it. Let's let's be honest. Let's let's talk, talk. You know, uh, last year sucked. Cause I mean, when you're an artist, twenty twenty, you talking twenty twenty. I'm talking yeah. twenty 2020. twenty. I'm talking twenty twenty. So you know, the last year just sucked. Like, you get, you go from doing like five or six shows a week to like, not even get like, at best one show a month, and it's not even that. Like for months on end, I didn't do a show. So mm. it's like when you're used to doing five, six shows a week, and then you don't get even a show a month. Like, it really affects you mentally, and I. I was in a bad place. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like mm. I, I'm not gonna lie to you about it. Like it was, it was a uh, you know a rough time because one of my outlets that I that I do is just like an outlet to get things off my chest and to just you know it's something that I love to do. When you can't do the things that you love to do, it tends to affect you. So like it affected me pretty hardcore, and uh, I. I got into doing the gemstones. Like I got into learning about stone properties, and then um, I went and bought like some stones. And I, I you know, shit. I, I'll tell you right now. Watch. Check this out. Let me take some rings off. But check this out. Here in the interview, I've got. I've actually got some stones. Digging in they always pockets. tell it. They always tell you to keep some stones in your left pocket, and I, I usually do. I have a a bag full of stones. <laughs> um, but, yeah. I mean, the fact that you bring this up. I mean. You know, we're doing an interview, but I'm going to show you some stones that I got in my pocket right now. Let's see this. But, that, but first off, Benny Boom makes a badass ring. That's that's the first ring he made me, the first ring he probably ever made. I told him I wanted a boom box. He made it. Wow. Not only on top of that, you look on the inside, it says W ill. Let's focus on right, that. Wait, right let there. me see. Oh, yeah, let's make go. sure. Yeah, you're focused on it. W ill right on the inside of that shit. Shouts out to Benny Boom if you need some jewelry. That's all I'm saying. Um, right, let's, but anyways, let's look, these, let's look at these stones. So you know, I got some. You know, I got some. This is to ward off bad energy. So, I got this stone right here. What what kind of stone is that? Ah, uh, you know, I forget the I forget the name of it, but I got it as a as a ring on my finger right here. So. Oh, you're warding off all the bad energy, homie. I'm trying to. So then I, you know, that's a I don't remember. That's a blue agate, I think. I'm not sure exactly what that is, but. I got some stones, I, you know. Uh, so this t- tell is us some, about like the properties. Uh, this is a. This is oh, a. Oh snap! Look at that yeah, one. Yeah, this one is opal. That's cool. There's some major energy in this opal. This thing is badass. So like, and then uh, I got this, worry stone, worry stone. Uh, my homegirl Candace, shouts out to Candace, gave this shit to me. I appreciate nice. it. So I was keeping it in my pocket because it was given to me. And she's super cool, and so I, you know, I always keep it around. Get it. And I put it in the thing. I put it in my and, left pocket. And when you have your stone, when, like when you go to the to the gem shop or to the the rock shop, and you find a stone that you, I'll grab that for you. Oh. And, yeah. and you grab a, you 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 hold on to a stone. You can feel the energy, like you grip it. You oh, can feel dude, it yeah. Arms. I remember you that, telling me that sensation. Explain yeah. Explain that to to the. Well, I mean, it's just like. Uh, I go to stone, I, like I go, I go look at, I, you know, I got a bunch of stones now, but like I go to look at stones and there's just, I don't, I can't explain, it just kind of calls out to me. So then what I do is I just see stones that don't call out to me and then I'll put it in my hand and you can feel the sensation. It's like it, it's just like it goes up your arm and into your, into your heart. It's like you can't deny the feeling that you have when you put these stones in your hand. And it just, you know, and that's just kind of, I, I don't, I don't always, you know, I, I haven't bought a stone, stones in quite a while, but um, I, I also have a, Ben can attest to this, I've got this stone um, it, that cleanses all my other stones. Oh, yeah. And you just put it in your hand and it just spins around and cleanses all your stones. Yeah, it's a, on a pendulum. On a pendulum, yeah, exactly. Oh, you got to check it out, man. And it's, that, dude, that we're going to have, we will that. have to do a, stone a, cleansing. a stone cleansing 
WL interview where I cleanse my stones because we're talking about it now. Yeah, but it'll like, blow your mind. It'll blow your mind. It blew his mind. But it like, did. yeah, literally, you just hold it there and it just spins around, does its thing, cleanses all your stones. And then it and, stops spinning once the stone is yeah, clean. Yeah, it's, yeah, exactly. And yeah, it's, it's some heavy stuff, man. It's pretty cool, man. So what got you into that? Did did you have a friend or did you just like start reading or uh, you I know, know there's a lot of people that are really into that. There are some people in that community. are into that. Like I know my ex was into that shit. Fucking Bridget was into that shit all hardcore. Right. Um I I know she had some uh, uh labradorite and it was in heart. It was really cool and I was dude I dude I do love me some labradorite, but like it's just, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like yeah. it's just I, I, you know, it, it was at a time in my life where I was not doing good. You know, I wasn't doing the greatest and the, and, and I wanted to enhance my life in a positive way because like I said but earlier, when you go from doing like five or six shows a week to not being able to do it, even a show a month, it's rough. Like it really plays on your life because uh, you know, that's my outlet. Music is my outlet. So it's, you know, so when I, when that happened, I just, I knew, I, I knew my ex was into it. I kind of started looking into all these, you know, gemstones and rock properties. And once, when I started researching it, I made myself a list and I said, you know, these are the rocks that I want to get. When I go there, these are the stones that, you know, the gemstones that I want to get. Did you have and a I, book or some kind of guide to tell you the properties I, for each stone? Or? I didn't really necessarily have a guide per se. I've got a guide now, of course. Mm -hmm. I've got a book that tells me all my rock properties. All right. And funny little side story that, will, that I'll tell you real quick is I was searching for some lyrics one time. And I couldn't remember where I had set them. So I went to this store and they had some, you know, rocks. You know, I, I went to go buy some... Uh, you know, just some oils or whatever, and they had some rocks at the counter. Well, there was a rock in this little dish that was really calling to me. So I don't know why I bought this rock for just because it called to me. And when I bought that rock, I went back. I had that rock book, and I opened it up to see what the rock was, to see what that rock property was or what it was because it was calling to me. Literally, the lyrics that I were, was looking for was in that same area as the property for the rock that I bought. On the same page? Me, on the same page. Wow. Like, some crazy, like, rock property. You might like, be a sorcerer, man. I mean, I, I, look, I just listen to the universe. Like, sometimes things speak to me, and I just listen to that. Like, cool. I just, it's like intuition or the universe or whatever it might be, but I just... I just follow it, you know, and You're on that level of consciousness. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's cool, man. It's cool. So what else is new with you? Oh, so check this out. You wanna know what else is new with me? Uh, so since the last interview, you know when I I told you at the end of that last interview I was looking for uh you know, I'd seen this pinky ring and it had caught my eye and I was really sad that I didn't get it. But do you know, thank you to my fucking boy Benny Boom. I fucking got it. Let me let's get that it. again. Let's, let's see. Let me, focus let me, in on that. Let's focus in on it. Let me clean it up. Let's let's focus in on that. Can you focus in on that? Oh, right there, right there. Focused in. Oh my in. god! Look at that. That's look. citrine, right? Citrine and fucking silver, <laughs> and I believe that that is diamond. I, I you can't I think tell that's, me I think that's white gold. It might be white gold. Whatever it is, it's gorgeous. Yeah. It and is. I got it. Yeah. Congratulations, brother. You gotta yeah. be styling and profiling, man. You gotta all be day styling long. and profiling. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, uh, besides your dope peaky ring, what else is new? Your, uh, I know Wowzers is always working on some new stuff. Do Wowzers working on some new stuff? I'm singing a lot more in the new Wowzers stuff. Uh, I'm really trying to expand what I do. Less rapping, more singing. Less rapping. Well, I wouldn't say less rapping, more singing, but definitely more singing. Yeah. I mean, once uh, I told Sean, shouts out to Sean. Once I told Sean that uh, that I wanted to do some more singing in this because I want you to remember that I'm a singer first. I was always a singer. I'm a singer first. I'm gonna put a new EP out called "A Singer First. It's coming out oh, soon. Yes. It's coming out soon. You brought it out me, but somebody called me out, and I was like, you know what? When I was like five or six, I was in a like singing group with like 
the three other chicks and we we had uh yellow yellow uh button ups orange vest white pants and white shoes and we sang and we danced and we were on tv <laughs> yeah. and it was some dope ass <laughs> shit and we learned our moves and we learned our songs so you were we in a you were shit. in a little pop band type i was thing in a or? pop band before Ooh, that was buddy. cool I out of the like, vaults, we came and talked to W.O. We get some information out the vaults, man. I didn't even know that. A singer first, y'all. Like, it's coming out. Once I finish it, um, it's coming out. Like, I should have finished in the next couple of weeks. Stay tuned for it, though. I'm right telling on. you, it's going to be dope. Right on.